Hi, I'm Madeline from Sheen Slings and this is my review of the Tula Explore, um, which is the newest carrier from Tula and the first one from them that offers the forward facing position. Um, also offers inwards and back and works from um, 3.2 kilos to 20 kilos, although I'll talk in a minute about what that actually means in terms of babies um, and what's realistic. So I'm going to talk you through the features of this carrier and talk you through what it's like from bottom upwards, um, first of all, and then I'm going to show you with a baby in it um, and talk about different positions um, and yeah, really talk you through the pros and cons and where this carrier shines. So we're going to start from the bottom, so this is the waistband and you will notice this waistband is um, quite firm, it's quite firm, it's got a bit of flex in it but it's pretty firm padding um, and pretty wide, um, so it can, give, it can offer really quite firm, nice, um, good support if it fits you well and this is the same for any carrier, um, it depends on individual fit, some people it's going to fit and be absolutely brilliant for and some people it's just not going to sit right on them. So it's always worth trying. Um, and then you will notice next on here, we've got a pocket here, which is quite nice. You can put your phone and your keys in there. Um, and then this is the really interesting bit. If we turn it inside out, you will see that inside we've got an adjustment system. So we've got three, I don't know if you can see there, three poppers. And this part opens wider and wider to adjust the seat for baby. So the three poppers, generally speaking, are zero to three months, three to nine months, and nine months to two years. Um, and I'm talking more about um, clothes size or trouser sizes for the baby rather than baby itself, because babies grow at different rates. Um, so if you sort of take, use the clothes size as a bit of a guide for this, um, but also check, and I'll talk about that a bit more in a minute. Um, so I'm going to start off with this on the infant size, because I'm going to show you infant carry first. Um, and then I'm going to put the waistband on, so I'm going to turn it over and clip it round my waist. You'll notice it goes on the side, so quite easy to find. And um, has a safety elastic. Um, so pull that through, which is quite nice, because then if it comes undone, it doesn't undo completely. Not that they ever come undone without you undoing them anyway, but always nice to be extra safe and you can see quite wide and just take a moment to find a comfortable position on you and then if we go upwards and start to look at the panel here um, you will note a couple of things so first I uh, you see we've got these two buttons and here so here we've got some really nice very soft leg padding and that's really lovely and um, so it often means you know sometimes parents worry about lines in their baby's skin this is really, really soft against her skin. Um, and we've got two buttons here. And this is what allows us to do the forward facing. This allows us to change the shape of the carriage to do the forward facing. I'm gonna show you inwards first, so we'll come back to that. And then we've got this little head support pillow. So this does three things. Firstly, it stays, you can keep it where it is. And that's the position most people will use. Um, you can bring it up, which is good for an older baby. So when we're talking more about carrying a toddler, 18 months, two years old, you would bring this up and um, and uh, yes, and tuck it in up here. There's um, a little pouch for it with um, hiding little poppers, so you can attach it there, and that would really lengthen the panel for an older baby, or could be used as a head support for a middle-aged baby. But often, just lengthens the panel for older children. Um, you can also fold this inwards, and it doesn't popper in this position but it does tuck in and that can be useful for just making the top of the carrier that little bit snugger for a very small new baby. So I'm starting with my new baby's position so I'm going to start here um, and then just before I pop baby in I'm going to talk to you about the straps. So the straps are very very soft. They're quite bulkily padded but they're very very soft so they can mould over you. Again this is something where fit varies for different people. The other thing to notice about these straps are, so you've got a chest strap that slides up and down to again just for different size parents and then you'll see we've got um, a piece of webbing that allows you to adjust um, and it's attached directly to the carrier. You will note there's no buckle so these straps don't undo. This means this carrier cannot offer a cross across your back um, because you can't undo these straps to do that. They simply goes in the rucksack position like so and then you would do the bra strap up 
if you don't, if you find it very difficult to do up that bra strap, which I do, you can um, do it up first and just simply flip this carrier up over your head, which I'm going to show you in a moment. When it comes to the rucksack position versus the cross, I tend to find everybody has a strong preference one or the other. Um, and it's really worth trying um, carriers that offer one or the other and see where your preference lies because it's not always where people are expecting it to be. Um, uh, if you are someone that prefers a cross position, you probably aren't going to get on with this carrier. Um, but there are quite a lot of people that prefer the rucksack position, find that easier or find that more comfortable. And so this is a good option for those people. If you are a big fan of the cross, I'd urge you to look at the Ergo Omni 360 because this is quite a similar carrier. But I'm going to talk more about how this compares to other carriers at the end. Um, so I'm going to grab my baby. Here she is. And I'm just going to slide her in and gently bring this around and up behind the back of her head. And then because if I was just putting some, normally I'd slip both arms on and do the strap, but because I can't do that, I'm going to pop that over my head like a t-shirt, slip my arms through, being mindful that my arms go in the right way and I don't twist the straps. And then I'm going to pull that down to the right size, to the right height for me and tighten up as needed, so I can think. And then the advantage of this not having straps is the tightening is incredibly easy. I literally just pull forwards gently. Um, uh, so that is really, really easy, and some parents like having less to do and opt for that, um, whereas some, you know, it just depends on how it fits you. So you can see, I've got this, so the pillow is up in the back of the neck, and it's just snugging that up for her. And nice and cozy so this is the um infant carry we're on the, the smallest setting um so, so in, in theory this is weight tested to 3.2 kilos and in theory is fine for a newborn baby i do tend to find so in terms of it fitting i'm looking that the, the carry is not coming up too far up the back of the neck i just want it back to the back of the head and no further and i'm looking that the knees are supported to knees to the back of the knee pits, but no further, and um, to support that nice deep squat position. Um, so I tend to find new newborns, actually this is quite big for them. So more realistically, probably more from sort of four to eight weeks, depending on the size of your baby and how spread they are. It can often feel very overwhelming for a very new baby, but after a few weeks, they can fit really nicely and snugly like my doll. My doll, for reference, is um, classed as a newborn doll, but she's in zero to three month clothes and filling them. So I think she's probably more the size of sort of an eight week old. <coughs> so I'm going to slip this off and I'm going to show you uh, the forward facing position. So for that, I'm going to grab a bigger doll and I'm going to put Selena down. But the first thing I'm going to do for the forward facing position, well, first of all, you would be probably using this with a bigger baby. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is adjust this, adjust the width for um, a three to six month old, um, well sorry, size of a three to six month old. Generally you wouldn't forward face until baby has very st strong neck support and that depends on the child themselves and often that's not till sort of four or five months but again depends on the child themselves and you, you knowing them. Um, and knowing what they need. They need to be able to hold their head very strong without any sort of wobble because there's no neck support once they forward face. Um, and they need to be physically big enough to fit the carrier that they're in. So I'm going to bring this back out and put that in. So you wouldn't have to go to do forward facing, you wouldn't need to do all this adjustment. This is just adjusting it for a bigger baby. So if you had a bigger child and you had it all set up inward facing, you'd be starting from this point. Um, and here, so what we need to do to change to outward facing is move these buttons to the inwards. So, outward facing, inward inner buttons. Inward facing, outer buttons. A little bit confusing, I know, but it's always the other way around, if you see what I mean. So, here we go. So we're all ready. You can see how this has totally changed the shape of the carrier. She's going to allow them to have quite a seated position with their legs sticking out of this gap. So if I grab my older baby, here. Here it is. And I'm going to start by first of all setting them in my arms, how you would hold a baby forward facing in your arms. So with supporting them underneath and supporting their front. And I'm just going to 
gently bring that up between the legs, keeping that seated position. Um, and you can see what I mean about their legs are now starting to spread out of the, out of these holes. And just take your time, get your straps on, and adjust baby. So, depending on the height, of, uh, depending on the size of your child, you can have their arms out coming underneath, or if they were taller, coming out over the top. And then you would just do up that back strap. Um, and then you are done and tighten up as needed. So you can see this is the forward facing position. It gives a really good buckety seat, so it's a really seated position for baby and allows them to sort of kick their legs and play with their legs as they like to. Um, and it's a really comfortable position for baby. And the head is clearing. This is what I mean about this very minimal head support, which is why it's a position for an older child. Um, but otherwise, um, really great adjustment and really great seat for the forward facing position. So in terms of other positions this carrier offers, it offers a back carry position and that can be done once baby is able to sit independently um, and it's very easy to do. Carrier again because it's in the rucksack style works really well for this. So realistically you can use this as I said sort of six to eight weeks all the way through to two, two and a half. My um, two and a quarter year old still fits beautifully in this carrier um, by that point you're probably more likely wearing on your back. The forward facing position gets very heavy once they get over sort of you know eight to eight months to a year it gets very heavy and then from sort of a year onwards often children really love being on your back as they can see over your shoulder. So this is a great carrier that will last a long time and um, offers quite a lot of flexibility. It doesn't do a hip position and I think that's a bit of a shame because I often think hip position is um a nice alternative to forward facing as baby doesn't have to look out all of the time. Um, it gives them sort of the option to snuggle into you thing, and it also allows them to look up at you and talk to you so it sort of facilitates communication a bit more as does the inward position. This one's a little bit harder for that. Um, when they're older the back position does because it's very easy to chat over your shoulder. Um, so I, it's a bit sad that it's quite difficult to do a hip position, well, it's not really possible to do a hip position because you can't change the straps because there's no clip. Um, so that's one downside. Um, but there are a lot, and, as, and the other downside is the lack of crossing, but there are a lot of co pros to this carrier and I can see why it, it's proving very popular in the library. Um, in terms of other carriers that like it, um, this carrier is very similar to the Ergo Omni 360. And that's probably not a big surprise because Tudor and Ergo are now owned under the same umbrella. Um, so this carrier is really similar um, it borrows a lot from previous Tula models, particularly the Tula Free to Grow, in terms of the size adjustment. Um, and it also borrows a lot from the Ergo Omni in terms of the um, functionality, in terms of the structure and how this carrier forward faces. So if you are looking for something that does a hip position and crosses, I would encourage you to look at the Ergo Omni. The advantage of the Tula is, yeah, only these are released in really, really nice patterns. They're really beautiful. They've got quite a following of people that really um, enjoy the different patterns. They're a bit more fun, whereas um, the Ergo tends to be a little bit more grey and blue. But there are sometimes fun patterns there too. But otherwise, actually, those carriers are really, really similar and definitely worth, if you're interested in this sort of thing, looking at both. Um, and really worth trying it on because there are other carriers that offer a lot of the same things but fit very differently for the adult. And when it comes to carriers, they're all a bit like jeans. It's really worth just trying them on and finding the best fit for you because the one that fits you the best is going to give you the most weight support. And when you're talking about a carrier that's going to last you all the way into toddlerhood, you need to be comfortable because children do grow. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my review of the Tula, um, Tula Explore. Um, bye-bye.